Good morning. Welcome to my channel. We are your them. Today's January 20th, 2024, and I just want to bring up a couple of points that I've been thinking about. Number one, I heard on a video yesterday or the day before that there are more migrant children being brought into the United States than there are American children being born. That's going to cause a problem in about 20 years. <laughs> and I wonder, you know, I think about this thing in, you know, these years for American kids, but <clears throat> I think they can transform the uh, migrant children a lot quicker and a lot easier because they're learning a whole new language and a whole new country and a whole new experience. So when they go to school and the children's and the teacher says, choose your gender, <laughs> They'll all be changing genders. Well, maybe not all of them, but you know how the road's going to go. So in about 12 years, maybe not even that long, when these kids graduate, they will be fully and completely indoctrinated. <laughs> Us older people will have died off, so they will be having the world that the uh, powers that be want the world to be. And it's sexless you know, going to the doctors all the time, which reminds me, look over here. <laughs> I just went for my female checkup the other day. Menopause is no joke, and I'm finally getting uh, hormones. <laughs> uh, anyways, I went to my uh, my uh, woman's doctor, and the name of their place is even woman's, you know, woman's gynecology place. And uh, on the uh, the paper that you sign in, it asks what gender you are. I'm not sure if that's ever been been a question when I went to the... Uh, I mean, all the genders are there on the app now. Men, women, anybody can go to the gynecologist. And I can tell you one thing. If I was a pregnant woman and I'm having to wait extra for some dude that needs to get his JJ checked, I'm going to be hella pissed. And another thing that upsets me is that I don't feel the... Um, I don't feel that I have the freedom to tell them that I don't agree that that should be taken off there. Women only should be going in there. I don't want to see a man in there unless he's with a woman. And the men doctors. I got a woman doctor now. I had a man doctor before. I've had a lot of man gynecologists. And in my old age, I think I'm done with that. I think I only want women gynecologists. So I wanted to bring up that about the schools and my gynecologist. And also, if you belong to any of these um, women's rights, women, you know, we stand for women and all that, make sure you go read their, uh, their bylines and make sure they're not gender affirming women, because that just throws everything out the window, throws everything out the door. <clears throat> women are truly being erased. And another thing. The migrants, I read a thing, their fertility rates are a lot higher than ours. They're going to have a lot more babies. You know, sometimes I feel like our forefathers set us up for this. Who the hell put in there, you know, that everybody can come here? <laughs> we should have known with what we did to the Indians that somebody else come here and do that to us. Were they not thinking? I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to bring up those two things. It's the Let Women Speak Day on uh, Rosie Parker's uh, YouTube channel, so I'm going to do my Let's Women Speak. I'm a woman, I'm speaking, and all of you women out there, you need to speak up. We need to figure out a way that we can speak out in public and not lose our jobs. I was watching her, and um, a lady on there was saying how she lost her job, and she worked at a rape center and got fired. These people are out of their minds. They are out of their minds. So, um... Oh, I've just seen so much, just so much. I got to figure out how to um, do my videos better. I did get a comment that my videos are not very good, and I agree, <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm using my voice. I'm trying to speak out. That's what I'm doing here. So, you know, if not for anybody in the nowadays that's living through this, that's, you know, um, I know there's a lot of really people that are talking a lot of stuff about this, but I feel like I can have my own input. I am a mother of disabled children, you know? Um, the thought that somebody could do that to my child, even as an adult, he, you know, my child has the mind of a child, even though he's an adult. The thought of somebody encouraging him to do that, to bring more pain and misery to his life. 
You know, do these people not realize they, they, you know, we all smile. Yeah, that's nice. Inside, we're going, there's something freaking weird about this. We don't want these people around us or our families. And my trans friend that quit speaking to me, I think the reason why he probably quit talking to me is because I went to a, uh, a fun, you know, activity. And I didn't tell him, but I didn't want him to go because I'm not going to put my family in danger walking around with a man in a dress that looks like a man. There's just no way. There's just no way. It's got to stop. Oh, it's January 20th, 2024. Migrants are pouring in over the border. Doctors are telling kids to change their, their gender. It's a real sick puppy here in the USA. And I don't even know how we're going to stop it. You know, the, in Oregon, DEI, DEI. In, in Oregon, if you Google Southern Oregon, Medford, Oregon, there was just a nurse uh, fired. I can't even believe she's not in prison or jail already for murder. Was replacing people's fentanyl medication in their IVs with tap water. People were getting infections. I guess there was a huge infection rate. And it sounds like it might have gone on for over a year. People died. So this tells me this is probably a DEI hire. Because if it had just been a normal person with a drug problem, they would have replaced the fentanyl with saline water. The stuff they put in IVs that's all over in the hospital. It's murder out and out murder and that person's not even in prison. We have homeless people, homeless vets, elderly people, children living in the streets. And they're rolling out the red carpet for uh, migrants. I don't have anything against the migrants. They got a good, I mean, how can they refuse? Jesus, come to America in Maine? They built, they built brand new apartments. I think 60 apartments or something. They built them for the migrants. While we all watch homeless people rotten to death in our parks that are American. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm just using my voice, my let women speak voice today. Better brush off on your Espanol. <laughs> That's where we're going. Who's going to win? The Espanol way of life or the transgender way of life or the American way of life? There's a lot we got going here. A lot. A lot to weed through. Don't let them sex change your kids, first of all. Once they do that, I think they're gone. Their minds are gone. I've been uh, watching some shows about this lady, Kathy O'Brien. And I bought the book, and I've been reading the book, The Horrors That Were Done to Her. Those are the same mentality, I think, of these transgender pushing pedophile weirdos right here in this book. I can't even tell you the stories in this book. They're that so horrific. But she was put into the CIA program, MK Ultra when she was a small child. And her daughter was too. And she was abused her whole childhood. And um, I believe it's true, 100%. And uh, also, uh, David Icke came up in this book. So all of my rabbit holes are kind of coming together. And, uh, it, you know, it's evil. It's evil. Oh, oh, and we're in the year of the dragon. We're in the Chinese year of the dragon. Isn't that kind of interesting? Are we really dealing with aliens here? I don't know. But something's, something is up. Protect yourself, protect your family, and protect your kids. And at this point, oh, the Pope said that he doesn't agree with surrogacy. And I would have to say at this point, I agree with him on that. I believe they're pushing it for no good reasons. Children need a mother. They need a mother. They can have a father, they can have an aunt, they can have a grandmother. But Mother Nature wants children to be raised by their mothers. Not mothers are dead-ass tired because they've been working all goddamn day. Mothers should be able to stay home. If I was going to make a change, I would say all the men should work, work out the wages. The women, they can stay home and take care of their kids. If they want to work, that's fine. But it should not be like it is now. I see mothers, they're the ones having to find the daycare for the three or four kids. You know, I see all these things. We'll help you with pregnancy. We'll get you through it. That's such a small part of the thing. You can go through a whole pregnancy almost and not even know you're pregnant. The hard part is when you're after you're having to raise these kids, when a single mom of three kids or a single father of three kids. But I'm on the woman's thing here. The men are going to have to just fight their own battle on this. 
It makes me sick. You know, putting up posts on Facebook. I need daycare, you know. They're always looking for daycare to go to work just so they can get by. They're tired. What kind of, you know, kids are being raised by tired, exhausted, still broke American women while they're inviting women from other countries and laying out the red carpet for them. It's not right. And I know my videos get confusing, but this whole mess is confusing. This is not normal. You got psychotics running the world. And, uh, and then you got a bunch of goddamn idiots agreeing with them. Get off the brain drugs. Maybe there are some things to be depressed about. Maybe if your kid has a sex change, that should make you sad. Oh my God. Bye.